Hey, Jayla. Um, I just wanted to walk you through how I've changed your outline to work with the research that you already have and to use the work you've already done um, and sort of move around the original concept so it'll work to have a really great essay. Um, really, all this came from just, uh, a, I think, a slight misunderstanding that a couple other people have. Uh, had where your research was mostly focused on investigative journalism in general rather than historical examples. But this way I think I've tailored, now I think I've tailored the outline for you so that you'll be able to um, do, complete it without changing very much and with using the work you've already done. So instead of having two paragraphs that'll both be about examples of investigative journalism, your first paragraph is just gonna use the work that you had at the bottom of your source gathering sheet about why freedom of the press is important and sort of do an overview thing. And you'll end that by saying, by introducing the idea of the muckrakers. So I've put in some sentence starters here and ended actually with your claim from your older paragraph about them. Um, and then you will still have one uh, paragraph that is about historical examples, but I figure you can just build upon what you already know, which is um, about Lincoln Steffens and Ida Tarbell and use sort of the paragraph you had already written as a, as a starting place to deepen that work and go into some historical examples. So you're just going to write a, a little bit more specifically about each one and what they did. Hopefully the sentence starters are clear. You're just gonna put in like the name of the book and, it, and then you're gonna put in a quote uh, from, I know you probably have like lost track of the text you originally read. I put in two short texts um, that should, fill in some of the gaps um, for Ida Tarbell and Lincoln Steffens so that you can get things like the names of their work and more specifically what the results were from um, their work. So like, did it lead to new laws? Did it lead to, um, in one case, you know, if something happens to Standard Oil, what happens? Um, and you're just going to work through that. A lot of this is already your, your own writing. And then I've just added places where you should, um, add details um, to sort of flesh out that situation. So um, over Monday and Tuesday, um, if you could do your best to, I don't think, I think this will not take you very long at all to just move that around and then uh, finish the um, body paragraph outline of this second one. And if you do that, then on Wednesday, when we meet in a small group, we'll just write this last paragraph together um, in a pretty guided fashion, even though you'll have different topics, um, because all the uh, everyone else is doing on Monday and Tuesday is getting mini lessons about like building towards writing this paragraph. So if we'll write the whole thing together on Wednesday, don't worry about the mini lessons. And then for you, Monday and Tuesday, all I want you to do is work on completing uh, the outline for these two. Okay. If you have any questions, definitely uh, email me. I can uh, call you or make you make a little appointment on Zoom if that's easier. Um, but hopefully this will be clear. I'm linking this document uh, right here um, and I'll highlight it. Uh, um, and there you go. So hopefully that'll be clear. I think a lot of your difficulty was coming from the fact that it was just like the initial misunderstanding. Remember when we set that meeting with like you, Evan and Takeo, it's because they did the same thing. They, they also just uh, got mixed up and did a lot of great research, but it wasn't really about specific examples from history. So um, this way you'll be able to work this paragraph with what you have, and this one just deepening a little bit of stuff that you've already done. Okay, um, great. So good luck. You can do this.